All right, let's hear this video while I put this other video together. Lee, Leela of the Wind. I used to check her out. We used to, we used to, oh, five, we used to watch the same type of content back in the day. I'm, she, I'm glad she's doing good. She got 28K. Let's go, Leela. All right. Uh, Leela reacts to why VTubers are blowing up. Inspiring this video with their suggestion. Rose, Rose sent this in the Discord like a week ago. I hope that you guys enjoy this more serious discussion. Let's hear it. YouTubers dominating watch time of female YouTube streamers. You know what's funny? Now Vettel987 is the top female viewed streamer on all of the platform. Vettel987 is at the top with 990k. I don't know how to say any of their names. I'm from the future. I'm from the, this video's in the past. I'm from the future, bitch. I'm from the future, bitch. Cora. Kimono, Koseki, Koseki Bijo, Valkyrie, Mori. Man, hurry your ass up. Asmin Gold talk slow as shit. Why Asmin Gold talk like this? Mori, Pekora, Koseki, Valkyrie. It's shut. Hurry up, old ass. Change their voice. Old ass Asmin Gold. Hold on, let me put my shades on when I say this. Honestly, it does. Because people are gonna think I'm serious. All right, now y'all can't take me seriously. I mean, even Corpse, for example. Corpse's husband. You guys know this. He's sexy. But he went on a break from streaming for a while, and I think he may still uh, be on break. And well, he rich as fuck. He can go on. He, he can retire, bro. I remember they was they were throwing thousands of dollars at Corpse because he was sexy. They was, was like, damn, that deep throated motherfucker. He could dick me down. I remember. I saw him in the comment section. There were some freaky girls back in the day. Making a point. There were some freaky girls back in the day. And someone would recognize his voice on the phone. And when you think about it, that's kind of scary because that means yeah. even if you're not a VTuber anymore, yeah, I know. If you are known enough and people memorize your voice. Just doing basic stuff like going shopping and making health appointments could potentially like dox you. And you know, some fans can be very clingy and obsessive. I mean, there's YouTubers who have gotten their houses broken into or their car broken into yeah. because again, they're so recognizable. Yeah. That can happen with VTubers as well if you're really yourself well, duh. It's yeah. safest if you just have a persona and this alternate voice so i totally understand wait what you have an alternate voice damn y'all going deep when it comes to avocado i just got some shades on apparently these bitches don't even work bro i went out to my market my local market because they know i make youtube videos and bro i put on the shades and i'm just walking and then like some guys like hello i'm like damn <laughs> you recognize me <laughs> People do it. I'm like, bro, I'm the only black guy over here. <laughs> nah, there's like two or three other black people, but like, yeah, like, no shit. <laughs> I think VTubing is safer in that sense. And also, I think it's more forgiving in a way because if a human YouTuber, for example, messes something up, a it human. often becomes their brand. The internet isn't always a kind place. A human. In real life, if someone made that same mistake, we may, you know, forgive them after a certain amount of time and allow What are you? What is she? I thought she was human. Oh, you're a cowgirl? Oh, okay. That uh, makes sense. To move on, but the internet doesn't necessarily work sense. that way. Sometimes people are still plagued by something they did five or ten or fifteen or God knows. Or last week. <laughs> knows how long the VTuber been. Awards, bro. <laughs> well, because some people on the internet last have week. things forever and it becomes kind of part of that person's brand even if it's not really fair even if it's a misunderstanding yeah it's like life. sometimes like like yeah you just like some people are gonna be like yeah you're a piece of shit even though you might might have changed and be like all right fuck it and then you just roll with it bro you just be like yeah hey, it is what it is there's these drama moments that become like you'd be like popular. iron mouse you just be like ah who cares popular <laughs> and the version of events that people i love remember. iron and that's why iron mouse is one of the top streamers bro because she does not give a fuck same with mori calliope shout out to them too those two those two are my uh my like inspirations i guess when it comes to v2 it's like who gives a fuck especially maury like i saw maury she was eating some food the other day and i was like yo maury that's crazy how are you gonna eat with that mask on and then she took the mask off in the video and ate and she went like this she went she winked at me i said oh my god maury you're so cool isn't what actually happened stuff blew up when the rumor came out and it doesn't always blow up again when the truth comes out so there's all these really like nuanced aspects to being a vtuber around you know safety and how you're perceived and i just think that vtubing in general is kind of more wholesome like there's less drama around it it's more forgiving you don't have to worry so much about your safety and i think it's really desirable for creators what 
Is she talking about the safe being a VTuber? Someone made that same mistake. We may, you know, forgive them after a certain amount of time and allow them to move on, but the internet doesn't necessarily work that way. Sometimes people are still plagued by something they did five or yeah, yeah. ten or fifteen or God knows how long ago because some people on the internet hold on to things forever and it becomes kind of part of that person's brand, even yeah. if it's not really fair. A brand. Even if it was a misunderstanding. Like sometimes there's these brand. drama moments that become super popular and the version gives a fuck about brand. 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 I hate that shit. I hate content creators. I hate them. I fucking hate them. I do. Content creators are so fucking annoying. Brand. Numbers. Algorithm. That's the shit I hate. Just make the fucking content. Just make the content, bro. Just make it. You know, brand. Content. Just make the video. Just turn the camera on. Say, hey, today we're going to make a video. And then make the video, bro. It's like, ah. Y'all get so infatuated with the numbers. The numbers that people remember isn't what actually happened. Stuff blew up when the rumor came out and it doesn't always blow up again when the truth comes out. So there's all these really like nuanced aspects to being a VTuber around, you know, safety and how you're perceived. And I just think that VTubing in general is kind of more wholesome, like there's less drama around it. It's more forgiving. You don't have to worry so much about your safety. And I think it's really desirable for creators. And at the same time, for the audience, I do think it's pretty cute to have, you know, anime people on the screen. Like, let's it be honest cute. here, we're pretty freaking adorable. And yeah. I don't know some of them got big really tits. Compared to that, you know, like, there's some cute creators on the internet, but like, mm, no. can you outdo the cuteness of an anime girl? Like, I don't no, know. No, no, of course not. Especially if you're addicted to the, like, internet and you're addicted to anime, of course not. But no, if I see a beautiful woman, I'm just like, damn, like, yeah, I'm gonna watch her stream. Like, she don't got to be 2D. Like, yeah, the 2D girls are cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, nah, I've seen some absolutely gorgeous women on the on the Internet. And I ain't talking just like sexy hot, bro. I'm talking like gorgeous. I'm like, how the fuck did you get here? And ain't nobody watching her, bro. It's like 10 people in there. And I'm like, bro, this is some of the greatest content on the site. And y'all too busy watching Amaranth and shit and all these little uh, VTubers to really notice. And I'm like, that's fine. That's more for me. Let's go. Like Gore Gura, she's, you know, kind of the mascot right now for people. Gore Gura. <laughs> she don't even stream. <laughs> she's freaking adorable. She don't you know, even stream. <laughs> I couldn't compete with that if I was just a normal human girl. On no, who y'all y'all can't compete with is Chibi Doki. That's the best VTuber. That's the best cute VTuber ever is Chibi Doki. No one can stop her. She's the queen. Cute. They're cuter than me, just objectively. GB so, yeah, I think there's a lot of different factors at play here, but I think that the safety factor, the wholesomeness, and the aesthetic has a lot to do with it. If you become a puppy, maybe. Bro, 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 so real. Look at this <sighs> comment. Hey, hey, we got somebody right here. People like femininity. That's why they don't watch real girls anymore. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> and there's some really feminine women on the website, bro. Pa Patchy, where's Patchy? Patchy went to go eat. I'm not going to pull up her logs, but Patchy, she's such a girly girl. She is such a meme lord, too. Like, bro, she is such a memester. It's like, bro, there are real women on the site, bro. Y'all just don't know them. Look at you, Bobby. Who is bro? Bobby, bro, got my neighbor Totoro. Created in 2012. Bro, you've been on the website longer than anybody. Old ass man. What the hell? Oh my God. Bro's been on the website for all these years. How old are you, Bob? Bobby? Old as shit. I Look at him. And I want you to be honest. Bobby. You say 1983. 1983. Ain't no way. 40? Ain't no way. Are you 40? You're 40 because years old on Twitch. 40. No way. Yeah, I, I want it. I want no it way. Now. 39. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my god. Well. Y'all call me old. And y'all call me old, bitch. I'm 26. I'm 26. I'm 26. Hell no. Nah. Ain't no way. Ain't no way I would ever. Ain't no way I would take no motherfucker seriously. You 39 years old on the internet. You 39 years old on the internet. 
and you want me to take you seriously and you ain't talking about math, science, social studies, history, art. You're talking about fucking VTubers and femininity and women. And you 39 years old on Twitch. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I don't even talk to me. Bobby, don't come here because I we ain't got shit to talk about. I'm going to start calling y'all motherfuckers up. Twitch got this new thing. When somebody pop in the chat, I can click this. I can click add a guest and I can have a motherfucker. I just call you. I can call you. This is what I'm going to be doing on my stream. Link in the description. I'm going to be calling motherfuckers. Nick, don't answer the phone. Don't answer the phone. This is just, I'm just saying. I'm going to call. I'm going to call y'all. If you come in my chat talking shit, we're going to call you. We're going to look at your face. We're going to look at your face. We're going to look at your face. And we're going to say, I right, say it. Let's hear it. Let's hear it, bruh. Ain't no way. Where the video go? I feel like we all just breathe. Where the video go? What the hell? There it is. VTubers. This is a good video. They do. Not very surprised. The femininity comment is kind of interesting because I feel like I don't know fully what square the up on Twitch was, exactly what he was saying. Surprising, I don't watch VTubers, but what I've seen, they try way harder to be entertaining. They do. VTubers are very entertaining. They do. Streamers. They do. They do. Have y'all not seen Chibi Doki? Have y'all not seen Chibi Doki? She's in a streamathon right now. We're gonna go watch Chibi Doki. Where is she? Chibi Doki. Oh, she sleep. Chibi, wake your ass up. Chibi, wake your ass up. Oh, no, sorry, I was, sorry, I was talking to you. Um, I'm gonna go yell at chat real quick. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> hey, feel free. Oh. What? This is good content. What the hell is Tricky doing? ASMR. What the fuck? Oh, word for it. Pretty cute. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is going on, bro. Utensil piecing. Let's now let's check out Jay Wong. What's Jay Wong doing? Take the take the hit there. Yeah. Daigo is how old? Forty one. Forty. Daigo's forty one. To fireballs of level three. Oh, I thought he was forty one years old. I was saying like, no way. Wait, what? Why are we? Wait, what happened to GDQ? They don't have... All right, so the reason we are playing two-player mode is there's some pretty major skips that uh, it's, a, it's, it's actually uh, pretty big. So we can skip most of World 1, all of World 2, and all of World 3. All right, this is a speedrunner. AI that lives on my live stream. He occasionally- Why the fuck is Neuro asleep? You can check out his channel by clicking here. Let's go, Justin! Woo! No, not particularly. Bro, why is Neuro sleep? <laughs> In order to overcome the limitations of a live 2D model. Yep, uh, being a VTuber is a different vibe. Same with not using- And then he got wrecked. <laughs> What do you mean, just showing off your boobies doesn't make you a top streamer? No, it doesn't work and it never did. There are a lot of girls that do really- Yeah, man, this is a great video, man. Check out the rest link in the description. Bow, 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 bow.